guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a DIY. For about a year or so, I've been making my own detergent and it saved me a lot of money and a lot of hassle because I make a year's worth all at once. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, for the things that you need in order to make this detergent, is a very large container. Um, this is a container that I picked up at Target. Um, I think it was around $20. It's nice, it's hefty. It's bigger than what it needs to be. I think it fills the laundry, fills it up to here when it's finished. Um, but I like having the extra space so I can like get in there. The things that you would need are uh, four bars of this stuff. This stuff is um, a kind of like, stain remover laundry detergent stuff. You can get Fels Napa or the Zote Bars. They're really great. They come in five ounces and we'll need four of these. And then you need to grate it. I have grated three of them already. So, other things that you will need is borax. We will need for this recipe, uh, four pounds and 12 ounces of borax. Each box here is four pounds. So you're gonna have to go ahead and measure out 12 ounces additional with a kitchen um, scale. And we'll do that later on. Um, the other things that you will need will be super washing soda. Uh, the, all of these ingredients, by the way, should be very near each other in the cleaning aisle. Very easy to find. Um, you will need one box of washing soda. This is three pounds, seven ounces. The last thing you'll need is one large box of baking soda, making sure that it is four pounds. Now, all of this will be written down in the description box, so you don't need to worry about writing this down, taking notes right now. So we're just gonna put this all together, mix it all up. I'm gonna finish going ahead and grating this bar here. It does have a nice smell, I have to say. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is definitely the hardest part of the recipe, is grating the bars. You'll work up a little bit of a sweat, but not too much. So, don't let grating these be the deterrent of having you not try this. Another great thing about this recipe too is um, you do save a lot of money. I'll go ahead and do a little comparison of price later on in the video. All right, now that is finished. Got all of the grated soap right here. And I'm just gonna set this aside and open these boxes up. The easiest way I found to mix all of this, these ingredients together is putting them all in a trash bag. Um, because otherwise, if we put it all in here, it's gonna be really hard to stir it all together. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Press to open. Yeah, okay. I'm pressing, but you're not opening. Ah, oh, finally. All right, so I have a trash bag here and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here. It's kind of like a extra set of arms so that way you can hold the bag open for us. So we're gonna take the uh, soap we just created and we're gonna dump it in. The next thing that goes in is the baking soda. It's the entire box. You know what would be easier instead of just using this tiny hole is probably cutting the box open, eh? Let's do that. All right, that's gonna be a little more efficient. Ooh. All right, the next thing I'm gonna add is the super washing soda. After I get it open, then. There we go. Now for the borax, it's not just a box, so we're gonna have to measure it a little differently. It's actually a box and 12 ounces. <clears throat> yeah, so four pounds, 12 ounces. So we'll have to measure using the handy dandy kitchen scale. ounces put it on and make sure you tear it and now we measure up 12 ounces so that was that now we're gonna add the rest to here Is 
Save this for the next time. Okay, now it becomes the tricky part, guys. Maybe I should have, put, should have put it in here. So I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the bag out of here. Definitely something I didn't do last time and I thought it'd be easier this way, but of course not. So we're gonna mix it in here instead. And it's gonna be kind of tricky getting it in here. Of course there has to be a problem. Of course. I'm gonna do this over here. Ugh. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but everything is in there now, and we're going to mix her up. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I believe this is thoroughly mixed, so now we're going to go ahead and dump her in. Try to do this as slow as possible so you don't waste any. wondering how this prices out. Does this is this better than just buying liquid detergent and not doing all the work or you know taking the time to get a couple few extra ingredients in order to make this um, detergent. So the total cost to buy everything outside excluding the container was $18.03. For every single wash load you need one to two tablespoons. I just use this spoon just a standard spoon to measure. We can calculate how many um, wash loads this is based on the weight itself. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna measure out what two tablespoons is. According to my kitchen thing here, um, one wash load needs 1.13 ounces. Okay, so this Theoretically, by adding up the weight of all the ingredients, all of this should weigh 215 ounces. So, if we go ahead and take 215 divided by 1.13, we get 190 um, loads out of this. So, what is the cost per load? What would that be? Which means we take the total price, which is 18 Point zero three divided by 190 and that equals about nine cents nine cents per load so I went ahead and um, wrote down information for a liquid detergent I wrote down the price of Tide Downy and they wanted a ten dollars and seventy seven cents for a liquid detergent um, and I looked in the back and said it was rated for about 48 loads so if you take 10 divided by 48, each load is going to cost you about 22 cents. You're going to save a whole lot of money if you do it this way. This is 9 cents per load, where if you buy a standard, very popular liquid detergent, it's going to cost you 22 cents per load. So this lasts me about a full year, so that means that I will go ahead and spend just under 20 bucks for a detergent. For the entire year. I think that's pretty good and it's not too hard. All of these ingredients are right next to each other on the aisle and it didn't take me very long to whip this together. So I highly recommend you try this or if you have variations I would love to hear um, those recipes and see what you think of it. Um, let me know what you think. All right thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like me Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Take care, guys.